ICE is identity service engine. It's not just a uh, radio center platform, the authentication server. It provides total authentication solutions, uh, including posture, profiling. But anyway, today I focus only about API. Especially these days in Korea, so we need more function uh, from ICE because uh, ICE is essential, it's the must exist device for SDA. In Korea, the, every company uses uh, some, some device called NAC, it's, it's NAC. Uh, NAC is a network authentication, uh, no, network, network access control. Oh, oh. Network authentication control, and it does do uh, make authentication and control the communication use ARP spoofing. So uh, because right now so every mega is controlled by NAC, so if the customer want to use the the map MAB make authentication bypass, so admin have to control two MAC tables from NAC and uh, ICE. But if NAC uh, add and delete the MAC address using API for Cisco the ICE, it will be more easy and it's real automation. So this function is proposed to NAC companies and they are under development. So just let me show you APIs. Uh, I will show you first uh, three useful link. First one is, oh my god, first one is uh, this one, the, from the Cisco the ICE community, there are some examples. This is very useful, and second thing is so DevNet, at DevNet there are also some examples, but the so most the useful link is uh, content, sorry, content on the uh, ICE server. So actually, I server provides uh, many information about the API. So from here, we can see quick references. Here, there are some informations how to set up the uh, the ERS. ERS is external restful services. So it means API actually. So there are some work for you to use the API. And here is API documentation. It explains about every uh, APIs and if you are very beginners like me and if you are about the network engineers so here are some examples about using curl and the pythons actually I did just follow up it's very easy okay and 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 today I will use about the language call that is language just maybe a kind of application it's called call, it's client URL, it supports multi-protocol, and it's command online, it means it work, it's, it's done, it's run on at the terminal or command line, it's free. Okay, first one is our test API, just about node information. And more big characters for you. Okay, if I do, I can show, I can get some information about my eyes. And if you want to automation using Python, it's very easy. Just to go to Google and click call to Python and search. The first link is about it convert the call to Python. Then if, if you just copy and paste this one, and run, then you will get nothing because there is no print. <laughs> uh, this is an example, it's just a copy and paste and the print about response that text, then we got some the wizard. Okay, I'll show you Python 3 and if we run, you will get uh, some responses here. Okay, all right. So today, 
Today I will just insert a Mac and then move the VRAM and then finally I will delete the Mac. So, so first one I will uh, I will check I will get a the group ID actually VRAM ID. Uh, if you see this one, I already I already made two groups called Yame One and Yame Two. Oh my God! What's wrong? I didn't click it. Okay, here here you see Yame One and Yame Two. So uh, first I will get the uh, VLAN ID here. Just copy and. Click, then I got out the group ID. It's 690 blah 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 for YAME1. For the YAME2, if I click it, here 6F blah 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 blah, like that. So I got it. Then and then I will insert the MAC address, uh, MAC address here. Uh, the code one 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 one. The MAC address is one 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 one. Just copy and insert. Then I got a two o one created. So I got it. So I will check at the eyes. Okay. So go to Yame one. Then one 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 is created. Okay. And next, so I will move group one to group two. So to do do that, to to do that, I have to know the endpoint ID, also group ID. Group ID is already known here, so I will get the group the endpoint ID. Here, here is the curl command. If I put this is the endpoint ID for 1111. I will update this documentation for future use, okay? And because so my new group ID, so YAME2 is already done here. Uh, here, so just I know that. So I will copy this command and I will run. And then the client will move YAME1 to YAME2. Oh my god, can I find out? I didn't update this endpoint ID. Alright, where is the endpoint ID? Here, sorry. Here is endpoint ID. Okay, then I will update this one. All right, I will do again. Clear and then run. Here, old value of the group ID is this one, and new value is here. So I will check if the client is moved to YAME2 or not. Because the VPN is, I'm using VPN, it's very slow. Uh, here, 1111 is at the YAME2. Also, so 1111 is at the identity endpoint. Here, we can see it. Okay. Then, finally, I will delete the MAC. Deleting MAC is very simple. Just delete it. And here, I have to use about the Mac ID. Okay, here is Mac ID, and I will update the document. All right, here I will delete. Then I will copy it. Then I will use here. 
Here, number 204, no content. I will check if the make is at the YAML2. Here it was. Here, no mag is here, it's also at the end point, there is no 1111, so it means it's deleted. Okay, so uh, today uh, I using Cisco uh, IS API, I created and move and delete of a Mac. Very simple and very easy. Okay, thank you. See you next.